Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show some updates from the PC Raster Tools plugin. You can install the plugin from the plugins menu, and you see that version 0.30 has been released. You need to install the plugin, but remember you also need to install PC Raster, which is covered in other videos, or you can read the steps in the documentation. Let's open the processing toolbox and have a look at what the changes are. Under data management, you'll find now a new tool, PC Raster Maps to Column File. Later in this video, we'll have a look at how that works. We have also changed a little bit the LDD Create tool and rela related tools to also accept uh, decimal numbers for the arguments. Let's have a look at the PC Raster Maps to Column File tool. I'm going to apply this to a land surface temperature image and an NDVI image. Both images have been uh, converted to the PC raster format using convert to PC raster format. And I made sure that they are of the same dimensions. So you can use the resample tool to make sure that they are of the same dimensions. Now I'm going to use the PC raster maps to column file tool. And uh, this uses the map to call command that comes with PC raster. And if you click the link, you get the documentation. And we have implemented uh, it in such a way that it gives for a set of input rasters, a comma separated file uh, with the X and Y coordinates of each pixel. And then uh, in each column, the value of the raster. So I'm going to save the text file to lst underscore ndvi.csv. And then I'm going to run the tool. And here also in the log, you can see uh, the order. So first we have LST and then NDVI. I refresh the browser and I add the CSV file that has been created by the tool. And I can open the attribute table. It doesn't have headers, but I can here see that the first column is uh, X, then Y, then temperature, and then NDVI. With the data plotly plugin, I can now uh, create a scatter plot based on this table. Let's install the data. Plotly plugin. Click on the data plotly icon in the toolbar and the panel opens. I'm using a scatter plot and I'm using here field 4 as the X field, which has our NDVI. And for the Y field, I use field 3, which is the temperature. You can change here the legend title. Got here plot title. I'm just doing this quick and dirty for the demonstration. X label would then be NDVI and the Y label LST. So add units. You can change a lot more settings, but I'm just going to create the plot here. And the plot fits the dimensions of the panel. So if you uh, want the X and Y dimensions uh, changed, then just uh, expand the panel. Now you can also use the CSV file in a spreadsheet program or uh, use it in, uh, in Python. But here I'm importing it into uh, LibreOffice Calc. I can just open the file from the menu and it will uh, recognize that it's comma separated. Uh, click OK to add it. And then uh, here I have X, Y, temperature and NDVI. And I can then easily create uh, a scatter plot using the tools from the spreadsheet program. I'm just going to do it quick and dirty here, but uh, you can further explore how to add a trend line. Uh, so I choose here scatter. I'm just going to swap the X and Y columns because I want NDVI on the X uh, and um, temperature on the Y. And I write the title, X axis label, X axis label, and agent that's not needed. Expand uh, the graph. Now I could further change the uh, range of the y axis and uh, add the trend line and other square. 